Hi guys, it's Jason. I am going to show you guys how to mix um, four bottles of polish. Um, this is a new color for me, and I think I'm going to call it Pink Ice. And I've only made it one time, and I made one bottle to test it out to see um, how I was going to do it and formulate it. So I pre-measured some of these, so I'll just pour them in a cup, kind of like a cooking show. Um, we're starting out with our base, and um, to make four bottles, my bottles are about 12 milliliters each, so there's, I usually put about one extra milliliter in there, so there's 49 milliliters of our base. Um, this is a pink color, and uh, but it starts out with this, and it's not this pink color when we get done with it, but Sometimes the weirdest colors make the prettiest colors. So anyway, so I'm putting all of this in here. Hopefully that will get most of that out. That is a, that's a really sticky uh, mica. So um, sometimes it clumps together. So we'll use a hand mixer to get that all mixed up. So let's see, next I'm going to add some drops. So I didn't pre-measure these, but I'm going to add, let's see, what did I put on there? 12 drops, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. 12, make that last one a big one. Um, I put platinum in a lot of times to tone something down if it's too, uh, if it's too bright, or actually I also use the platinum if it's too dull, because if you'll notice the platinum has a little sheen to it. Oop, where is it? There we go. Come on up, platinum. Probably gonna come on. See how it's got that little sheen to it? That really can make something or break something. So I use platinum quite a bit. Um, let's see. Next, I'm going to add a darker maroonish color. And again, I'm going to do drops. So I'm not making a huge batch. I, um, I'll use drops to make things. So this one takes, let's see, yeah, 20 drops. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let's stop at nineteen because some of those were large. So, twenty drops of that. Or they're about. Um, I keep a really detailed journal of my uh, every formula and um, so I can go back and make it exactly the same each time. So um, so far so good. I haven't had any troubles so um, you just have to make sure and use the exact same um, implements or tools also that you use the very first time. So next we want to add my favorite thing, and this can get a little messy. This is a color shifter. That's going to pop it. That's going to give it the, uh, the ice look. And last but not least, we have one more glitter, and there's only and there's more than I thought, so I should have pre-measured it, but see. I can double scoop it sometimes, so for a while you kind of get used to doing it. Okay, let's see. I'll probably have to fast forward through this part for you guys. Come on. Okay, one, two. Sorry. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
Hai mă, mă. Come on, sucker. This, I have a bunch of bags of this and I've got the smallest bag. Okay, 12. All right, so I'm making this video because um, one, it's interesting. Um, and two, when I first started out in this business, it was so difficult to find anything or any information on actually making the polish. But um, after a lot of research, you just kind of have to go with it and learn as you go. So, um, okay, so that's everything that we need to go in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients to make this one color. So um, what we need to remember with the ice look and this is that it, it will go everywhere if we just go crazy. So with our hand mixer, we want to get it in here first and get everything moist and wet. Otherwise, that, that glitter will go crazy. So, now we can mix. And uh, it's going to be even prettier than I thought. I like it already. These little hand mixers, easy, easy. They're like little drink mixers. They were, they're like $5. They were, they're perfect to make these little tiny batches. Otherwise you can use like a big, a big hand mixer. So, let's get this going. You want to make sure you get all of it really good and mixed up. And I keep a couple of these hand mixers around just to make sure my battery starts to run right on one. I have the other one. Okay, so Let's see where we are now. So you gotta let it settle. So if you thought you got bubbles for shaking your polish, what about if you mix it with a mixer? Let's see what it looks like. Gotta let these bubbles settle here. Come on, settle. Now the light is like too bright. Let's see if we can get a look at it. I already know that I'm gonna like it. Let's do just a little bit more mixing. Okay, now we want to get it off around the edges, make sure there's nothing stuck. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and test it. Why not? You know, we want to see what the coverage is. We want to make sure it's not like a too thin or too thick. So um, if you watch, those bubbles will dissipate here in a little bit. But I'm going to get some of this off this really quick before it dries. I'm here in my new lab, so uh, it makes it a lot easier to do everything, so. Okay, all right, so let's see. I'm gonna grab just a little brush that I keep around. I keep some of these face lip brushes for when you're making lip polish, I mean lip polish, sorry, where you're making lipsticks or glosses. And they're really good to test because you don't want to use the, bo the brushes that are going in your bottles because it's going to waste them. So let's see where we are. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see, can you see that? No? We're going to focus. Hmm. No, okay. Well, that's all right. I've got a card started over here and I've got some liquid latex at the back of these just to keep it pretty. So let's go. Let's see where we are. Okay. I didn't I didn't follow the rules, so sorry. Funny thing is I don't have nails, so uh, it's so hard for me sometimes. Look at me, I'm really messing this up. It's so hard for me to show these, but you would not believe how many of these cards I've painted. So this looks like it's gonna be a two-coater and looks like we are really gonna like it. So, I really like it so far. So, it's gonna be a two-coater, so let's do one more. 
let's paint one more and let's paint it right. Okay, let's get everything in here. Oop. Try to hold everything with one hand. Okay, so, boink, whoops, too much. Boink, push back, one coat, two swipes. I got too much in my brush. I'll come back and get it. This might not be my best paint job, but it's just the test. Right. Actually, it's a horrible paint job. Okay, here we go. Finish this up. Okay. So, it actually applies very well. Self-balancing, levels out, no streaks or lines. So, um, and I've used this card. This is for a multi-chrome flaky that I've got coming out called our... Are you flaking kidding me? I like that. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to let this dry for a second and come back to you guys. Let's see. That's better. It's probably more along the lines of what it would look like when... The client applies it the first time. There we go. So, first coat. I like it. Okay. I'm going to take a little break while these dry, and I'll be right back with you guys.